All right, welcome to our section on complex fractions. Big idea for today is you have to understand the concept of the LCD. Uh, we have four examples here in which to uh, show you that concept. All right, I'm going to dive right in here to example number one. And if you look at this one, I'm going to look at the two denominators of the fractions that are within the fraction, and they're x squared. Okay, so that means that my LCD here is x squared. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by x squared, the LCD. Okay, so that's the concept that we're going to use for our examples. Multiply the numerator and the denominator by the LCD. Okay, and when we do this, we have to make sure that we understand that we are going to distribute that x squared through, okay, all the way throughout. So when that x squared multiplies by the x in the numerator, we're left with an x cubed. When that x squared multiplies by the 1 over x squared, we get minus x squared over x squared, which is the same thing as 1. Okay? When I do the same thing to the denominator, the x squared, remember, is the same thing as x squared over 1. So the x squareds are essentially going to cancel out, and I'm going to be left with 1. And then when I distribute the x squared to the 1, I get minus x squared. All right, so how does this play out? Well, I see that I can do some factoring. So I'm not done yet. I'm going to keep going until I've uh, finished this. All right, so I'm going to factor this x cubed minus 1 using the concept of the difference of two cubes. I'm going to factor that to an x minus 1 and then x squared plus x plus 1. And then in the denominator, I see that this is the difference of two squares, which factors to 1 minus x and, and uh, 1 plus x. Let me just edit that real quick. 1 plus x. All right, so I see that these are opposites, which means that they can cancel out and it becomes a negative 1. So our overall answer is the negative of x squared plus x plus 1 uh, over a 1 plus x. And you can write that as x plus 1. Remember that with adding, you can switch it around without having to deal with the negative. All right, in example 2, we're going to do the same thing. And in here, in this situation, I see that my LCD is an x plus h and an x. So I am going to multiply the top by x plus h and x. And I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom, x plus h and then x. All right, when I go ahead and distribute this through, uh, remember I'm going to distribute that to both parts, okay? I'm going to end up with, and for this one, just because it's a little bit more complicated, I'm going to uh, take an extra step and show it all the way through. Remember, all of this is over 1, so I would end up with an x plus h times x over an x plus h, and then minus an x plus h times x all over an x. And then in the denominator, I would end up with h times x plus h times x. All right, in the numerator, I see that these are going to cancel out, and I see that these are going to cancel out. So that leaves me in the numerator an x minus the quantity x uh, plus h all over an h uh, times an x plus h times an x. I also see that uh, this x minus x is going to cancel out, and I'm going to be left with a negative h. So I have a negative h over an h times an x plus h times x, and I see also that the x's or the h's are going to cancel out, so I'm left with negative 1 over x plus h times x. And there's my final answer. All right, on the third example, I got a stop sign here, so I want to see if you can try this example on your own. See what you can come up with. All right, 
so now that you started the video again, um, big idea, remember, is you always got to figure out what that LCD is first. So I see a 3, a 4, and a 6. So it looks like all three of those numbers go into 12. It looks like I see an A, an A squared, and a B. And remember, you always take the highest exponent. So therefore, A squared is going to be part of our uh, LCD. And then it looks like we need a B. So I'm going to distribute that uh, all the way through. And I'm going to do it very similar to the uh, uh, example 2. I'm going to take my time and show it all the way out. Okay, so this is going to multiply basically by the 1s. So I have 12a squared b over 3a minus 12a squared b all over 4b. And then in the denominator, it looks like I'm going to have a 60a squared b over a 6a squared plus a 12a squared b all over a, um, a b. Okay, all right, so when I go to do this, I can do some simplifying. So I see that uh, 3 goes into 12 four times, and the a is going to cancel one of the a's from the a squared. 4 goes into 12 three times, and then the b is going to cancel. So that means that my numerator now becomes, uh, it looks like a 4ab minus a 3a squared. In the denominator, I see that 6 goes into 60 10 times. The a squareds are going to cancel out. Uh, I see the b's are going to cancel out. So in the denominator, it looks like I'm left with a 10b and then plus a 12a squared. All right, so from here, a uh, big thing that you want to be thinking about is uh, seeing if you have anything common denominators, uh, anything you can simplify, anything, um, you know, factoring that can be done. You know, I, I see I could factor an A out of the numerator, but I'm not going to be able to factor an A out of the denominator, so that doesn't do anything. I could factor out a 2 out of the denominator, but that doesn't do me anything either, so therefore it looks like this is going to be my final answer. But at least I checked. Always look to see if you uh, have anything that can simplify further. All right, on to our last example. All right, this one's a little bit different, okay? Uh, we're using the idea of a negative exponent. The big idea that I want you to understand is we do not distribute these negatives, so that's bad. Don't do that, okay? What this is telling us is that we are going to rewrite this as 1 over x to the negative 1 plus y to the negative 1. So that's what this negative is telling us, is we're going to write it in the form of a fraction. Now what these negative ones are telling us is that these are also fractions. So now I have 1 over uh, 1 over x plus 1 over y. And I'm going to use the same concept that I've been doing on the previous three examples, and that is I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by the LCD. The LCD in this case is x times y, so I'm going to multiply top and bottom by x times y. 1 times x times y is xy, and then when I distribute this through, it looks like I have an xy over x plus an xy over uh, y. I see that the x's are going to cancel, the y's are going to cancel, and this leaves me with xy over y plus x, and that is going to be my final answer. All right, again, this is a, a tricky concept, uh, a lot of little pieces in it. If you have any questions, bring those uh, with you to class tomorrow.